All right, ladies and gentlemen. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you my top five websites uh, for free stock images. Now, specifically, I'm going to be showing you royalty-free images for both personal and commercial use. So let's start. By far, my favorite one is um, Petzl's. I believe that's what it's called. And let's just have a browse at it. I think the images here are really high quality. And I use it both for my social media, for creating designs. And, you know, um, when I um, create a website, I use these images for that. The next one I like is Unsplash. So as you can see, really high quality, crisp. Um, you don't really see ads here, and this is something that I really like. Um, compared to some of the other websites out there, you know, you might click on an image and it'll take you to a website where you'll have to purchase the image. So I like the layout of both um, Pexels and Unsplash. Um, really user-friendly, and as you can see right here, You can use them for commercial and non-commercial purposes. All right, so let's have a look at the next one. So this is uh, gratisgraphy.com. Now, what I like about this website is their images are very unique, a bit different, and just, you know, just really cool to look at and see if I can use these images either for my social media or my personal designs. And as you can see, um, it's a free of copyright restriction, so you can basically use it for personal and commercial projects. So another one to check out is StockSnap.io. Uh, I don't use it as often as the other ones, but as you can see, the really high quality images for both for person, personal and commercial use. And last but not least, um, Burst. Now, Burst is really geared towards entrepreneurs. The whole website is kind of encourages encourages entrepreneurs to look at the images and use them on their you know on their projects. So if you have a look, download free photos to fuel your next project. Um, let's see down here. We here start a business, photos, supplies, and more. So a lot of these images, you know, you can use for your social media, your website, and obviously I, I think it's it might be affiliated with Shopify, but you can use these images to help you create your Shopify store and make it a bit look look a bit more professional. So another website I know a lot of people use is Pixabay. Um, I have mixed feelings of Pixabay. I do think it's something to check out and definitely use. But you have to be a bit more careful and using Pixabay, I kind of tend to be more cautious of what I'm downloading because I just I just believe some people actually don't own these images and they just upload it on the website. And you'll find occasionally stuff that is copywritten here. So it's, you know, it's a mixed bag of things. So even though people might upload things saying it's a free for commercial use, they themselves don't have the rights to offer that. So as when you go through these websites, make sure that you have a reference that this is free for commercial use or personal use. So have make sure that the images does say it that it is for commercial use if you intend to use it uh, commercially. And even on the other websites, when you find the image you like make sure it does say this because you occasionally might find an image that, that like this that might not say commercial use but it does say for personal use so when you go through these images and you intend to use them for your store or part of your design make sure that is included somewhere in the link either it goes in the file so just a heads up on that all right, so as always, I would love to hear what you guys uh, use to download images, what websites, or if there's an app that's kind of cool to, to get royalty-free images. So if you have any suggestions, just put it on the comments below. I definitely would love to check it out. And I'll also be uploading my top five places I get 
vector artwork. So stay tuned for that. Until then, peace.